and Javier Aquino on the right side, while Rafa Carioca holds the fort in central midfield. And it's Andre Pierre Gignac who scored a beauty here six years ago. Yes, and they'll go with three in the back for the fifth straight game, including Javine Brown returning from injury to start for the first time since June 10th. The starts were more average. We'll see how they go tonight. A referee tonight, American Lucas Spala. And VAR is Erica Lindo of Mexico. We are underway here at BC Place Stadium. After a fine run with Jamaica, called with a nice touch to get around Pizarro. Pizarro catching up though. Now Gall looking for White, can't get it around Samir. Trailing is Vite. Vite on the volley! what the Whitecaps like to do defensively. Tigris, the same thing, all the way back in the Vancouver end. The press is broken, though, and the Whitecaps play it out beautifully down the left side, and any time the ball's on the foot of Ryan Gauld, you know that there's going to end up being a chance from it. He puts in a really nice ball that is only partially cleared by Samir, and when Pedro Vite gets to it first, he calmly takes his time to control with a chest and then beautifully volley it into the far corner Guzman is stood still and cannot make a play on it. Terrific start for the home team and a great goal to boot the Whitecaps with that early lead. The top active scorer in Liga Mackey's right now. Quinones makes the turn, edge of the six, feeds it in front, saved on the goal line. Is it a game? Saver for the Whitecaps. Going in the first 20 minutes here, both teams going for it. And then what a move by Quinones to open up the opportunity here. And you think that Guerinon had scored the goal when Ryan Raposo comes out of nowhere to stick the right leg out. Clearly not over the line there. Galled again. A little further out and a bit of a chance at the edge of the six there for Brian White. Wide right. Dropping for Vite into the middle. Kubis has got some room. And now Burhalter is going for a run. Looking for White. Can't skip it past Pizarro, though. Into the corner it goes. Saved. Given away, though. Burhalter chipping it for Raposo. Raposo tried to curl it, side netting. Build up play from the Whitecaps, though, in the end as the ball is kept in on the end line is where they win it back, but a beautiful touch started that whole play from the back, Brian White, and the intricate passing that the right caps played it down that right side. Quinones, who's everywhere in the final third, Blackman able to clear there. Burhalter stuck in the corner, spins, lofts it up. White and Gauld are both there. Gauld cuts to the middle. It's 2v4 though for Vancouver. Gauld will try to chip the keeper. Most of the MLS teams are advancing. It's a long road trip, but the quality of Tigris might shine through still here at BC Play Stadium. Cordova, wide, and now Quinones. Cordova on the left, boom, Tess Takaoka. Good early strike from Cordova. Confident young player as well. Back for Samir. Carioca, big chip, looking for Cordova. Drops down to the box, right into the feet of Quinones. Aquino, the cross. Kick it in. It's a masterpiece from Andre Pierre Gignac. Glorious equalizer at BC Place. Who's played with the France national team on many occasions, 30 plus. And in Liga Amekis for so many years, he loves scoring goals. And the service in for Aquino is unchallenged. And when there is space to be found for Gignac, he's going to convert. It's a terrific finish, a beautiful goal, and Tigris is level. Well, there is a lot of promotion as much as they could squeeze in for Whitecaps fans. Not allow this very good counter-attacking team in the Whitecaps to get their chance to look up and play those balls forward. A good turn from Raposo, though. Still has space. It's for White.
left it for Burhalter for White again. Tough angle, cutting it back. Raposo just misses the far post. To put one over the line from six or seven yards out. It's an excellent ball from Brian White. And closer to the penalty spot, it ends up being is where Raposo steers this header just wide. Looked like it might have got away there from White, but eventually the ball gets back to him from Burhalter. And then loosely marked. Rosaro is the closest man to him. Ryan Raposo, no. Sergio Cordova gives it back for Laborda. Not many targets, though. Just Brian White for gold. Shop. Anybody going to take a shot? There's the save made by Guzman. Ryan Gold could not finish it. What a touch there from Brian White. Lots of space here. Gold not thinking that he can put enough power on it as his legs are gone. And Shop trying to curl that into the corner. Can't beat Guzman. How do you feel about the center back strikes? Well, usually the pressure is not on. It looked like he had a few nerves, though. And now is Guzman playing around a little bit again? Yeah, he's going to see the yellow card for that. All the tricks of the trade from Guzman. Branko Veselinovic so good in open play here in this one. Can he add to it? Stop by Guzman! He approached it very casually. And it's not close enough into the corner to beat the veteran goalkeeper who leaned to his right and then pushed to his left and able to do it, able to recover because the power behind that ball not strong enough. The match on the line, Gore Iran. And there it is for Tigris. The Mexican Giants advance to the round of 16 in penalty kicks.